Fred Rogers, who many of us nostalgically know as Mr. Rogers, once said there are three ways to ultimate success. The first is to be kind. The second is to be kind. The third way is to be kind. As we make our way into the holiday season, there are abundant opportunities to practice kindness, beginning with the annual Mr. Rogers Neighborhood Sweater Drive, which is taking place now through the end of November. Here with more details are my big boss, David McGowan, president and CEO of WJCT, and Kamal Gasper, vice president of community engagement at Star Credit Union. Welcome to you both. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Kamal, I'm thinking you are probably way too young to have grown up as I did watching Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, but his legacy has really stood the test of time, whether it's the 2018 documentary, Won't You Be My Neighbor, or later a film starting, starring Tom Hanks. What is the enduring appeal of Mr. Rogers? So our purpose is to do good, and our core value is to lead by example. Ever since Star was founded in 1952, by 12 members on Naval Air Station Jacksonville. And this year we are planning to give around roughly $6.3 million to the community through sponsorships and infrastructure investments. And our employees have volunteered 25,000 hours in the community to give back. And that is our purpose. And so we latch on to amazing ideas, amazing things in the community like the Mr. Rogers Sweater Drive. We've been a part of it since 2015 and helped last year to uh, get 6,000 pounds of necessities for those that are most vulnerable. That's terrific. David McGowan, what is the origin story of the annual sweater drive? How did it get going? It got going uh, some time ago, actually. It was something that uh, takes place in many public media organizations across the country. And I think, you know, it's one of my favorite things that we do here because it illustrates so well, I think, what we can do when we work together with other partners to make something special happen. You know, Vistar is a great example. Uh, we have collection points throughout the city that Vistar helps provide and also Tom Bush dealerships provide. Um, Suddath is a partner in it and they help us move all of this, these thousands of pounds of donations um, where they're needed. We of course provide not only collection points and organize the whole thing, but we also of course publicize this to our community. So everyone does what they do best and it really creates something amazing and special, and it's really enduring, and that is a kind of a testament to its success. And and built around Mr. Rogers, who's this beloved PBS character. Yeah, so iconic. I mean, we call it a sweater drive, by the way. I should point out that, and we call it a sweater drive, of course, because of the iconic sweater that Mr. Rogers wore every single day and changed into those. Of, I'm, I am old enough, Ann, to remember right uh, growing up with Mr. Rogers and that, that sweater. Um, but we collect all kinds of things that are in need. And I should uh, make two special points, I think, to our audience today. One is, and this is a shout out to the men out there, women are much better, and I can say this because this is true in my household, women are much better at cleaning out their closets and getting rid of the stuff that they don't wear anymore. Men, come on, it's not your time to do this because we end up with a lot more women's clothing than men's, and we really need men's. There's a lot of demand and need for that, and we see that when we're at the City of Rescue Mission uh, and at the Clara White Mission. Um, the other thing to say is that, especially now, we're in need of new socks and underwear. So it's not only, you know, use things that we collect. If you feel so inclined and you're at Walmart or anywhere shopping and you kind of grab a six pack of socks or whatever it may be to, um, to you know, drop off at one of the collection points, that would really, really be helpful. And so that's, he's calling out directly the men of the community, yes. get we in that closet. About it. We talked we about it. On. Yeah. That's right. Um, and so Vistar is providing, what is specifically locations? How, how do they, what's their involvement in the, in the sweater drive? Absolutely. So our members look forward to this every year. So we have collection points, like David mentioned, in Duval, St. John's, Nassau, Clay, Putnam, Bradford, and even Columbia County Vistar branches. So you come and visit. We have those three boxes located in the branch. Stop in. Hopefully you're a member, can do a transaction. But if not, stop in, make a donation. And uh, we're proud to support this amazing cause. I will mention that, you know, a lot of individuals think that maybe this event is for those that are homeless or unhoused. Um, but you have Melanie Pats on the show earlier, and they talk about the Alice study quite a bit. And that's individuals that are working but are one paycheck away from homelessness. And there's a lot of need out there in the community for those that may be working but may be struggling to meet their, their needs. And so this is a great opportunity for everybody that needs that's most vulnerable. 
And that's right. There really is this community of people who are right on the edge. Um, that Alice study, there's 40 percent of the population that is not economically stable. That means if they need to go to the doctor, if they need to get their car repaired, they're not able to do those very basic things. And I can tell you that when we distribute these goods, and one of the things that ViStar does contribute is volunteers. It's a big job to actually man the uh, distribution centers um, when we uh, give out the, the clothing and other materials that are needed. Uh, you can see that there are all kinds of folks that are in need of this stuff. And you also, it's very humbling because I think you can be on the other side of that table and realize that, you know, there, it could be, it could be any of us. Uh, so it, it really is an opportunity to be generous, to be kind, as Mr. Rogers would remind us, and to help uh, help those in our community who could use it. Well, again, looking for gently used cold weather items, sweaters, jackets, blankets, new socks, new underwear. David McGowan, WJCT president and CEO, and Kamal Gasper, vice president of community engagement at Star Credit Union. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you.